excited to be today with Ken Nozo, director at Miho Technos. Uh, hi, Ken, how are you? Fine, thank you. It's great that you will share with us today the culture of innovation at your company and how you're balancing innovation, how your culture is empowering innovation. We would love to learn from you more about your diverse portfolio and different projects you are doing, engineering, civil, design and construction within your firm. Can you tell us more about how you manage and to handle all these different services within one institution, one company? That is common in Japan. Uh, we have, we call general construction company. It is not easy to uh, combine different line of business, civil engineering or construction, uh, building construction. Uh, as a managing director, uh, trying to uh, to make synergy uh, among uh, such line of, of business. In, in Japan, what is um, what, what is the latest technology that you're utilizing in construction that you see a great potential? To, to support the construction in 2024? I think that could be BIM. Uh, as you may know, the Ministry of Land, Infrastructure, Transport uh, of Japan uh, announced that uh, they intend to install BIM in 2025, I think. So all participants in the Japanese construction industry uh, need to uh, start BIM, so there is a big potential for uh, BIM business. So we, I, I understand, we can do uh, BIM in uh, design architect, but uh, as far as I know, uh, no Japanese company so far uh, used BIM in the actual construction. Big gap between design and the construction, mm. building construction. So now we are trying to challenge the uh, beam in building construction. Do you use laser scanning uh, on your job sites? Mm -hmm. Yes. And drones? Yeah. And why is that important? Because that, that is, uh, people need to know the actual distance and the actual width of the space. Yeah, existing conditions mm -hmm. of the site. Yeah, 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 That's awesome. What is the biggest challenges for the construction industry in Japan? And how will you solve those challenges? Uh, as you may know, uh, Japan is suffering the less and less uh, population, and especially young people. And the uh, construction industry is suffering uh, to get the young manpower uh, because young people uh, don't prefer to, to have a job in construction industry. So we need to attract the young people uh, to uh, the job that we are proud of. So we would like to uh, convince young people to come to uh, our industry and come to our company. And how are you attracting uh, the young people uh, generations mm -hmm. to to construction uh, to your company and in Japan in general I think that should be also beam uh, we are doing the most uh, progressive uh, technology and uh, we are doing the exciting and interesting job we can provide them can you tell me about what are the ways you, how you attract the new talents and the new, uh, new folks to your, to your uh, company? The well, most easiest way is to show them what we are doing uh, using uh, computers or using, uh, say, drones. We utilize such uh, high technology tools in the construction site. So if they come to the site and uh, uh, if they see what we are doing, they should be uh, interested in. What is the most exciting thing you think about in construction right now? Because uh, by using BIM, uh, I think we have a chance to change the way of work. Normally, uh, in Japan, the designer of building and the contractor are completely separated and they don't act they don't normally exchange ideas, but uh, by using BIM, I think uh, they need to communicate 
and uh, in order to uh, build better buildings and uh, do better work. It is not easy to change the existing works, but uh, we are not big company, so we can take out the barriers between those two departments. Can you tell us more about sustainability in Japan in the construction industry and how you make it happen? Uh, in Japan, uh, we have ZEV. Uh, ZEV is a zero energy building uh, that is intent to uh, minimize the energy consumption uh, of the building. And uh, just this year, uh, we have a, we built a new our office building and we uh, got a certification of ZEV that is a 50% deduction of the energy of the building. Uh, we utilize BIM as well. And uh, uh, if we change something, so at the same time, uh, the other uh, aspects sh should change. Uh, without BIM simulation, uh, we cannot accomplish. Can, can you tell us about the e exciting things and trends, top trends that in mm -hmm. Japan that can really transform construction? I think that could be robotics. Uh, robotics construction has a potential uh, to save the industry. The more the, we can do uh, robotics by robotics, uh, the more, of course, we can construct more. Of course, there is a big gap uh, to use such robots in the actual construction site. That is very complex and uh, very dangerous. But uh, robotics can uh, have a, a big potential uh, to save the industry. Thank you so much, Ken, uh, my for uh, sharing your knowledge and uh, how Japan uh, is doing with the EEC industry and all the great work you've been doing. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, always looking forward to hear about your su continued successes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.